So in front of me here, I have the other knife that I recently bought from knivesoffrance.com, and this is the Nevette, Nevette Brass 80 Venus, and there's different handle uh, versions. This one's the Venus one. It has a lady on it. I will show that in closer detail and hopefully not get uh, flagged by YouTube for it. Um, but pretty cool handle. I don't really think the knife's for me, but we'll go over that. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool, and it was pretty inexpensive, so I figured I would check it out. Uh, but anyway, this is another knife made by, well, it says Corso, but it's a Nevet. So I guess Nevet must be like a, like a uh, pattern, like the Pradle uh, in the previous video. It's like a style of knife or something. But this is the Nevet 80, and there are different versions of this. This is the, let me close this blade and show you this handle here. I'm going to close that carefully because I'm not sure. Uh, this is the Venus version. Try to, eh, let me try to wipe this off better. So I would like to actually show like the detail here because it's pretty cool. Uh, but this has a woman on it. I suppose Venus. Uh, it's kind of hard to show on the camera, honestly. It doesn't want to show the detail, but it's very cool that they can do this. I don't know how they did this, but it is very detailed uh, for being, you know, in the brass handle like this. But it's very cool. I really do like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's the main reason I bought it. Um, it was $38, I think. Yeah, $38. Um, so not super expensive or anything, you know, just under 40 bucks. A uh, little knife, or a fairly little knife. Here, I'll compare it to the GEC 15 again, since I have one here. It's a little smaller than the 15, so fairly small knife, a uh, little spear blade, no half stop or anything. Little spear blade, pretty good action on it. This is a carbon blade. You can see there it's got the coarse sole with the little wrench stamp that I like. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't look at the tang stamp. What does the tang stamp say? I think it just says France. Well, that's cool. Uh, but I thought this was a neat knife just because of the detail and the handle and everything. Uh, but the reason why it's not really for me is it's very thin. Like, I could, like, this is a cool knife to just have and everything. But it's so thin that, like, I'm not ever going to use this for anything, probably. Because it's too thin to, like, actually cut things with. Because it's uncomfortable to hold. Um, but it is definitely cool as, like, a little, like, art piece, almost, kind of. Just with this woman on it here. I think it's very neat. Um, and... I don't, like I said, I don't know how they did this, but it's very impressive uh, that the handles came out like this. And they are brass, um, fairly thick brass. Well, I guess it's about the thickness of like a normal brass liner. So this is kind of just like a knife without the brass, without, or with just the brass liners. So it's very thin, uh, but I do like the detailed uh, engraving or whatever you want to call that, sculpting, I don't know. But it's very, it's very cool. Um, Overall, you know, just a smaller knife. Uh, it could be a pen knife, except for it doesn't have a secondary blade. So this is just like an equal end jackknife, I guess. Um, like I said, a little spear blade. Um, it didn't come super sharp, so I'll have to touch it up. I mean, it's sharp enough to cut things, but it's not like, like you can hear. You might be able to hear my fingernail drag on the edge. It's a little uh, rough of an edge, but it would certainly cut things. Um, I'm sure most of us probably sharpen our knives uh, right out of the box anyway. But, you know, um, I imagine that if you carried this quite frequently, the brass would change and tarnish with age and probably start to look even uh, cooler. Uh, that being said, I probably won't ever carry it because, once again, it's just too thin for me. Uh, but it was certainly worth the $38 to me just to see it and just to check it out uh, with this like sculpting on the brass handles and everything. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this knife or not. I ha am kind of thinking about giving it to like my girlfriend as a gift. I don't know <laughs> quite how she would feel about this, but um, I don't think she would mind probably. But she does this thing she is she reenacts uh women's army corps stuff sometimes um and she has like a whole outfit that she like made herself and everything and this would be kind of cool to have 
you know, she's kind of embraced the whole knife thing, which is cool. Um, but it might be kind of cool for her to have something like this because this could be her knife that she got in France while she was in France, you know, being a, a whack, <laughs> reenacting stuff and everything. So this could be like part of her uh, get up pretty much a little like French pocket knife that she bought while she was in France, you know, uh, that would be kind of cool. I think she'd probably be like me and just think that this is really like uh, cool how they did this. Um, uh, but yeah, <laughs> just a neat pocket knife, just too thin for me. Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to give it to her yet or not. Um, but I will definitely do something with it. I'll either give it to her or I'll just, you know, keep it in the collection or whatever, just as an example. Uh, but it certainly is cool. Um, and if you want one, you can get it over on knivesoffrance.com. If you spend over $50 over there, you can use the code BAKERYWIZARD all over case to get 10% off of your order of $50 or more. Um, I think it was really cool of him to give me that code. Um, so if you guys want to use it, feel free to, um, definitely go over there and check out these, uh, French knives because they are very cool. Um, and you know, I've been enjoying them quite a bit as a lot of you will know, because I've done a whole bunch of videos on French knives and I've posted a lot on Instagram about my, like, uh, a Alp Alpine, Alpine, whatever that knife's called. Posted that one a lot because I've been carrying the crap out of it. Um. But yeah, this has been the Novet 80 uh, Venus. And that's going to be it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a good day.